Well, it is a great pleasure to be here today, and thank you, Thomas, and it's a particular pleasure to be speaking after De Bing. Uh, we have a common interest because, as you might hear by my accent, I'm not just a member of Parliament in Britain, but I hail from South Africa. But it's a great treat for me to be here. It's my fifth time that I've been to Prague. It's my favourite city. It's the most romantic city in Europe. And clearly, um, I'm here delighted to be part of the opening and the launch um, of this, the Czech China Entrepreneurs Forum. Um, what I didn't, wasn't introduced about is that I actually did my master's in Chinese law uh, at London University in 1982. You might say, what in the hell are you doing Chinese law for in 1982? Um, but in those days, one in five people in the world were Chinese. And I thought, if you can't beat them, join them. And so I had a fascinating year. I wrote my dissertation on the Hong Kong lease from the eyes of Beijing rather than from Her Majesty's government. And I then went to live in China. And I have to tell you, it was the most remarkable experience. Everyone was dressed in Mao suits. There were no motor, motor cars. And you think this is way back in 1983. What a remarkable transition we've seen in that time. Now, I come from the stock market. I've been with Merrill Lynch for many years, no longer, thankfully. I hope there's no one here from Merrill Lynch. Um, but um, there was a time in the stock market when if Wall Street sneezed, the rest of the world caught a cold. Now, if Wall Street sneezes, people just ignore Wall Street. But if China sneezes, the world seriously catches a cold. And China has come on in leaps and bounds. And I have to say this to you from the bottom of my heart, and I hear Thomas and I hear De Beng mentioning, being, doing business in China is no quick fix. It's all about building relationships. It's about building trust. It's about building a long-term relationship where you can work together with mutual cooperation. It's about dropping the visa restrictions, which unfortunately several countries have done with the Chinese. I have to say, this country and Prague offers everything and more for Chinese investors. I see huge, huge potential as the gateway for Central Europe. But quite clearly, it's not going to be a quick fix. Now, Premier Li, who, as you know, is the new leader in China in just this last year, came to Britain, and he met with our Prime Minister. And he's embarked on a very bold reform program, a bold reform program not just with internal reforms, but clearly to stamp out corruption, to look at all the areas which China's been accused of in the past, tackling environmental protection, lots of other bold initiatives, which has not made him very popular with many people in China, but I'm a great fan of his. And one of the messages that he's given to China PLC is he wants to them to embrace Europe. So be prepared. There's a lot more Chinese investment coming into Europe as we speak now. I've said enough. This is a great initiative. Well done to De Bing. Well done to Thomas. Well done to Richard James. And thank you very much.